If you want your life to improve, if you want for the whole world to heal, if you want to manifest things into your life with great ease, then one must understand that this is a world of collective consciousness that plays off of each individual's consciousness in order to create the whole. There is no action that does not cause another action. Even to not take action is an action upon itself. This is a land of chain reactions and your future is constantly based upon what you do right now. We know that time isn't linear the way that we used to believe, but it is merely guided by cause and effect. The future, the present, and the past all exist at the same time, however it is the experience of now that you are caught in. And even if you were to travel in time, you would turn that time into your new now. When you think of the past, you notice it's a lot like a dream. Things are blurred and forgotten and it's like it never really happened. It's like an imagination. And when we think of the past, we are noticing that which we truly aren't. You notice the things about your personality, you begin to associate that which everyone knows about you with what and who you really are. When it's really much more real to associate what nobody knows about you with what and who you really are. We are not basketball players, we are not musicians, we are not dancers, we are not even our thoughts, but we have been given this brain to act as a filter. A filter for what we are allowed to perceive in this dimension. And if you want to experience outwardly or inwardly into new dimensions, you need to learn to use the filter of the brain to bring in and out what you want to perceive. It's all a learning process. And in order to master yourself and your limits, you need to know that truly your limits do not exist. Knowing that this is a world of collective consciousness, the only thing you can do is choose how you want to perceive the things around you. If you spend your life attempting to become rich and do not complete this, then you are caught in a matrix designed to keep you here. The need to get rich is going to pull you back into this world after death. And to get away from death, one needs to experience the non-physical death of their lower self and to put the pieces back together. For when you have died here, you cannot die anymore. You can only transform. Death would be a painful thing. And if you feel as though you are not done here, then you will stay. You will experience death. We oftentimes hear that ghosts are here due to unfinished business. In Kemet, known as ancient Egypt, the masses would spend their entire life preparing for the afterlife in order to move along rather than pulled back rather than being pulled back into reincarnating again and again regardless of their will to leave. Most people are not happy with what they have and only want to have more without knowing that what they're really buying are the distractions. Many people shut down when you begin to talk about consciousness because if they can allow the conversation to stay on the surface of stupid shit then they don't have to put up with the feeling that says we've got a lot of work to do. They tire themselves out worrying about bills to pay, dinner to make, dishes to do, and other chores and such. When they get around to learning the real consciousness, they feel as though they are too tired to care. But their problems are not your problems. And to manifest quicker in this day and age, we must begin to understand the cause and the effect of the world. Mundane actions and tasks all day, while ignoring consciousness, causes the effect of being too tired to rise up. Eating junk food causes the effect of the body, being upset and purging itself. When you are angry, your energetic field will cause other people's energetic fields to associate with yours and they will in turn feel that anger, whereas if you create the paradigm of being happy in a high vibrational state, their energetic fields will pick up on that and they will cause the happiness paradigm, the domino effect that you want to see happen. The only way to begin and to stay happy is to kickstart the happiness domino effect and to make sure that it pers and to make sure that it persists. Everything that you do should be rooted in the happiness for all, not being wrapped up in the judgment of what the other person is doing, but rather wrapped up in the fact that they are experiencing happiness. I just want people to be happy because when they are happy, they are to make better decisions. If everyone could do what they, if everyone could do what they wanted to with their life, then they would not come home upset and take it out on their wife or take it out on their husband. 
who will in turn take it out on the child who will carry that to school and bully another child and so on and so on. When you base your life around feeding those who are hungry, when you base your life around the betterment of all, you can begin to receive the same energy back into your own life. There is a scene in The Matrix where Morpheus is talking to Neo and a woman in a red dress walks by him. And this was a test to see how focused he is or if he will let consciousness slip. Keeping conscious and creating a paradigm of happiness and joy, a paradigm of good decisions in nature, is ultimately what you want to do for you reap what you sow. If you believe that you have to prove who you are to anyone else, then you are still dealing with the mundane. You are trying to convince others and yourself of what you want to be. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Just live your life and do what your spirit is calling you to do. When you are close to the full integration but not fully there yet, you will notice that you are living as the higher self for the majority of the time, with fewer and fewer distractions. And when you integrate fully, there is no difference between you and your spirit guides. There is no difference between you as the flesh being and your higher self. There is no difference between you and your ancestors. So if you truly want to see happiness play out, if you truly want to, if you want things to manifest quicker into your life, then you need to live by the rules of you reap what you sow. The wind travels border to border with no passport or license. Namaste.